It's very easy to create dynamic routes in Next.js 13. All you have to do is to wrap the route folder into square brackets. That's it, the end of tutorial. Just kidding. I will show you the real world example of Next.js 13 dynamic routes with the data fetched from an API. It will be the list of blog posts. Let's dive in. All right, let's continue with an application from the previous video with uh, the routing basics. If you haven't seen it, please check this out on my channel. And as I said, if we want to create dynamic routes in Next.js 13, all we have to do is to create a folder and the name of the folder should be in the square brackets. All right, let's see how it works. Let's create a folder in about folder and we'll call it slug. Uh, if you don't know what slug is, this is not like a just a random word which means nothing. It's actually a word. The meaning is that it is like a placeholder for the end of the URL. And for example, it will be a placeholder for some meaningful uh, name of the route. For example, the name of the post and it will be like the name of the route. So uh, it is called slug. We just create in here this folder and the page file. And here, inside this page file, we will just create some, some layout, just copy-paste here, and it will, be, it will be a page, and it will be a slug, let's say, <laughs> all right, and let's see how it works. In general, this slug, at that moment, could be like anything. Uh, so any route after about will uh, will point us to this uh, slug page. So for now we are at the about page and if we will write for example anything here, not address but I don't know blah blah blah. And we'll go here and as you see we are at the slug page. Uh, there is another trick with uh, with this naming convention of the folder. If we, for example, have just this square brackets, we can write anything and it will point uh, us here on the Slack page and it is up mm, to us to, to decide what we will render here. Mm. And for example, if we will go uh, further, so another slash and somewhere here, now it will show us an error. All right, page not found, as expected. All right, let's now create the real-world example with fetching data from an API. We will start the creation uh, from the creation of the new route, which was, uh, will be called blog. So let's create a folder with the name of blog. And it will be our new route with, with an about route, <coughs> together with an about route. And here we will create a new file page tsx it will be the page of uh, like the lists of all our blog posts and to show like the single post with the with the dynamic route uh, we will create this here inside this blog we will create a new folder with the name of slug and this slug will be replaced with a url with a dynamic url to to the single post and here inside inside this slug we will have also page tsx Inside, we will be using, just to experiment with this, uh, we will be using a free API from Reddit. It is accessible here, reddit.com JSON. And it will be just the list of newest, I think, the newest post. And it is free, you can just experiment with it in, in your applications. So we will be fetching it and display the list of posts. All right, uh, here we will uh, create just a very simple layout for this uh, single post page. Sport default function page. And it will return some GSX.
And here we will we will be using props called params. And I will tell you what those params are doing later in the video. And for now we will just return, I don't know, single post page. And for now that's it. And now let's go to the page with a list of posts and let's make here a fetching of, of the data from the Reddit API. To speed up the process, uh, I just wrote this uh, code because this API is, is pretty complex. Link to the code will be in the description. So here we're just uh, making this post data array. Uh, we're just fetching this here and here we are mapping those posts from Reddit and we are creating our own array with objects and uh, inside objects we have only two only two key pair key pair values the title and the slug and here the slug will be our custom dynamic url so here we're just making it in such a way that it is reddit post and index from the mapping function and title is coming from from an api and here we just returning some gsx so we are mapping this new uh, this new array we created and we are returning the link this is the component from next.js and here inside this link href is our dynamic url so it is containing this blog part and our slug part from this array from here and here we just have a title and now it is looking like that <laughs> I know that is not looking very exciting, but come on, it's working. Uh, so now we have like real world data, the names of the posts. And if we click here, let's check this out. And as you see, we now on a page with Reddit post zero, the first post, the second Reddit post one, and so on and so forth. And we also have have an access to this slug parameter inside this page. How we can check this out? If we we will go back here, we have this params here. And here we can make something like that. And here inside this params, this slug is this name of the folder. So now we will show the name of the route on every page for the single post. And as you see, we have here our slug, our dynamic route here. All right, as you see, it's working perfectly. Uh, for now, we will not dive too deep inside uh, fetching data and rendering uh, the dynamic data inside Next.js. It will be content for the next video, so stay tuned. All right, as you see, dynamic routes in Next.js 13 is not so much complicated. We created pretty simple example, but it still fetches the real world data from an API and we are creating this dynamic route. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Go check out my other videos on Next.js 13. I think it will be useful for you. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel and happy coding.